I knew that I loved her probably within the first week of like spending time and, and getting to know her. And I know that everything works out as, it, as it's supposed to and I feel very excited and um, I can't wait to marry Christy. She's a beautiful, incredible woman. <laughs> We just want to be uh, examples, you know, beacons for other, other people to, to know that there's somebody out there and, um, you know, you go through what you go through regardless of the memories and the scars and the, whatever it may leave with you. It's, it's all part of that journey to the person and um, we're just blessed to have found, found each other. We walk in the garden, we walk in the garden. Something I love about Christy is her big, beautiful smile. It's 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 um it's electric. It's a, it's a captivating, beautiful smile, and it, you can't help but uh, smile right back. <laughs> Today we're not just having a wedding; we're in fact beginning a marriage. Cody and Christy. It's easy to celebrate the two of you today because it really is as if you guys were made for one another. And I believe that you are. My sweet Cody, the love and respect I have for you and everything that you are is the most natural emotion that I've ever felt. God has shown me unconditional grace by leading me on a winding path, a journey with mountains and valleys, ranches and islands, big cities and small towns, an exciting adventure of searching and finding you here, my soulmate, by chance in this city that we love. Over the course of the last year, we've watched you guys labor in rebuilding your old house. We witnessed the joy when you purchased your home, and we all sat and watched as you ripped out the flooring in your kitchen and discovered a whole host of issues. You labored tirelessly for long days. You shed blood, sweat, and tears for several months, and through it all, you grew together. You thought you were working together to rebuild a house. But God was using this to build a home and to build your marriage. When I think of the most perfect picture of sacrificial love, I think about the kind of love that God has for us. So much so that He sent His one and only Son into the world out of love for us to live and to die in our place so that we could be made right and reconciled with Him. Jesus laid down His life for us with sacrificial love. That's the kind of love that I believe we are called to give to one another. God is my father, earth is my mother, the soil my sister, the forest my brother, the river the spirit, the joins us together. We walk the garden, we walk the garden. I, uh, I never thought I'd be standing here in this moment with all these people here, you know, looking and, and being here to celebrate such a special thing. All the bad things and all the good things that we've been through finally led us to each other and you changed my world and you changed everything. so much. I love your free spirit and all the experiences that you've been through, all the perspective you have on life and, and love and how to treat people. Um, I'm so proud to be learning from you and learning with you every single day. Committing myself to you the rest of my life, 
my bright spirit, my whole heart, it feels effortless in this moment. The pragmatic side of me knows that it will not always be this easy. I ask that you see me with newness and light when I fail to be the perfect partner and I will do the same for you. I'll always be a good husband to you, loyal, faithful, communicative. I'll cherish you and, and make you feel beautiful every single day and as lovely as God made you. I promise to continue this journey together with unflinching intention every morning and every night before we rest our eyes. I love you. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you so much. Cody and Christy, would you please join hands? And all of you who love each other, would you join hands as well? To reach out to someone and be acknowledged and loved is a human need. Taking the hand of the one who loves you is a powerful symbol of that unspoken bond. With great joy that I now pronounce you husband and wife, what therefore God has joined together let no one tear apart. Cody, you may kiss your bride. Up a sequence, and I have to come back as one of your happens. I know that the morning I'm born in your tresses would be more than worth it. The dawn and some goddess being us. I don't want to give us. I, if you start over, can I read your mind? Anything you become, let me run beside you. When you entered Christie's life, I knew right away how special you were to her. Dancing around our living room and fits of joy became a regular occurrence. The light that circulated through that home on Campbell Street grew into a force of nature that could move oceans. And now you are at home with one another, lighting each other up and dancing around the earth as celestial partners. So cheers to you, two forces of love that will never escape.